Hey YouTube, it's Cave Cock Kuda. I, uh, I got this 2000, I believe it's a 2001 uh, Ford Excursion. I just put a starter in it and this upper radiator hose, you see that the radiator plastic eroded away. So I went on eBay and I ordered a radiator for it for 90 bucks free shipping. It just came in today and uh, the box is a little beat up from FedEx. That's where the uh, the drain is. It's all beat up. And this is where that that hose is. I can see some other dents in the box. So right here is another plug the, uh, where the lower radiator hose goes. That's beat up too. So I'm going to open this up and see how bad damaged it is. that that punched through like that because it probably could have a crack around the around the end let's check it out I'll open it up see what it looks like I'll be back well I got the box open it doesn't look like it's damaged so far looks pretty good This, this had punctured through the box. I don't see any cracks around it. And then uh, that's just damaged, but the, the, uh, the reservoir part doesn't look damaged down in here or nothing. So, this was. $90 free shipping on eBay, 89 something, some change, 90 bucks. And uh, let's see. This is where I got it from uh, DNA Motoring, 108. Salt Sundaris, Sundaris Street, City of Indi Industries, California. Part number. It's like ninety bucks. Ain't bad. So it's not damaged. Uh, now I get the fun task of putting it in the truck. The starter I bought off eBay also. I paid thirty-five dollars for a brand new starter. Uh, the starter they wanted like one hundred and forty dollars locally, and your core charge, and your core. The radiator, I can't remember what the radiator was. Probably around 200 bucks. I can't re really remember. It was either 150 or 200 dollars locally. Um, I looked it up on eBay. It was 90 bucks. So I just fixed this, and uh, this is the 5.4 um, Triton motor. And uh, to do that starter, I had to take the inner wheel well out. So I got to put this inner wheel well back in. To get the, you have to take this inner wheel well out to get to the top bolt on the um, starter. So. Starter is right there. I put the starter in about a month ago, and uh, we had seen some some coolant leak right down in here um, and when I put the starter in I I just took this off it wasn't it wasn't really leaking that I noticed I know I see brown hair everywhere but it was this wasn't like that um, what happened was 
I loosen this clamp to look at why it had a little wet mark right here and when I took it off all this plastic was sitting right inside the hose so I ordered the and that's why all this all the water drained out onto the motor like that so that's why it looks like it does and then I put water in it because I moved the truck around and kept on starting the truck wanting to save the battery from dying on me but all right Cape Concuda signing now thanks for watching this is a I believe it's a 2001 Ford excursion it's actually a friend of mine but he was letting me borrow it and uh, I've been driving around in it for a while uh, and now I'm driving a Toyota ton, uh, Tacoma. Uh, my buddy's neighbor went to Hong Kong for uh, three weeks. So I've been driving around in his Tacoma. I took him to the airport. So three weeks I'm driving around in Toyota Tacoma. Uh, I tried to get him a door handle for it at the U pull it yard. And I pulled it off of a 95. Forerunner because that's the only Toyota truck that they had and uh, it didn't work out for me and uh, It was ten dollars at the junkyard. I see them for fifteen dollars brand new on eBay um, And that's probably what I'm gonna have to do. I was just in the junkyard I seen the, the uh, Forerunner and I grabbed it for ten dollars and it didn't work for me so well, I can get my money back on that 10 bucks. Use it as a credit if I want. They'll give me cash back though. And then uh, I'll order this one for 15. Thanks for watching. Cape Cod signing out. What excursion radiator? It's only a single core radiator. Big radiator. It's only a single core. Same as the diesel trucks. And uh, none of the junkyards around here had it actually. Um, I was told it was the same as the diesel truck from the 5.4 and the diesel and the F250 diesel. Thanks for watching. Bye.